true seekers welcome back Zach here it's Friday January 27th 2017 it is the one year anniversary of the USA Today big lead article written making fun of my decoding of professional sports showing how they're scripted year ago today this article was published conspiracy theorist proves Freemasons rigged AFC and NFC championship games and the article's written with a very critical tone, you know, using that phrase conspiracy theorist and then with the quotes mocking the word proves. Well, it's too bad that there was never a follow-up article because they were making fun of videos where I said exactly what would happen in the Super Bowl, something I had been saying since November of 2015. I said why the Broncos would defeat the Panthers, why Von Miller would be the MVP, and why there would be a Black Panther tribute. I was explaining throughout the season how professional sports are scripted by the numbers and their scripts coincide with what's going on in popular culture. And from last year at this time up to the present, we've been bombarded with racially divisive propaganda like we haven't seen in decades. You know, articles have been written recently how racial divisions are at an all-time high since the time of the Civil Rights Act. None of this is by coincidence. It's because we live in a world where we are ruled over by tyrants who control media. And through the media, they program us with the thoughts, feeling, emotions they want us to have. They do it in the news and they do it in the sports games where if you listen to the commentators throughout the sports games, they're often bringing up what's going on in the news. And they're often making, you know, all sorts of references to parallel what's going on in the world. It's like last Sunday at the NFC championship game. Packers and Falcons and go back a year ago at the time before this article was even written I was already looking at Super Bowl 51 and the first two teams I had chalked up to be most likely in Super Bowl 51 in the NFC were the Packers and the Falcons specifically because of the number 44 Wisconsin and Georgia the only two states in Gematria that sum to 44 and in this article he asks if it's even a real thing I guarantee you the person who wrote this article knows that it's absolutely a real thing and the whole purpose of this article is just to make me look ridiculous for anyone who might come across my work. But anyway, you can go back a year talking about Packers, Falcons, possibly in the Super Bowl in 44. The Falcons win with 44 points. Not by coincidence because it's scripted. And ever since the Super Bowl, I've been showing what's going on with the Falcons and the Patriots. Why do we have this matchup for Super Bowl 51? That's what we're going to do in the rest of this video. We're going to talk more about Super Bowl 51 and even more scripting that I found. I'm hoping that Ryan Phillips, the man who wrote this article, can get me on for an interview. Let's get the truth out, Ryan. Why not, huh? Well, we know why not for Ryan. To be in the mainstream media, you have to be willing to sell lies to the masses for a paycheck. That's something I would never do. Never. That's why there's no ads on this channel. It's not about money here. It's about getting out the truth. And that's it. To date, the only money raised for doing this work has been spent on a website and maintaining the website for all people who want to seek truth and work together to make a better world. You know, Ryan Phillips, who wrote that article, he creates lies and dishonesty for money, like so many people in this world. So here's what I, where I want to begin. They've set the over-under for the Super Bowl, and it's at 59 points. And if you've been following my work since 2017, I've explained since day one, the big number for 2017 is going to be 59. Said this a bunch of times already in January. 59 is the 17th prime number. 17th prime number. Here we are in 2017. The headlines have been full of 59 left and right. Now we got a 59-point over-under. They're saying the Patriots are a three-point favorite. Patriots got that Foxborough connection too, and Foxborough has that gematria of 59. Very interesting. So something I decided I would look at were the owners of the two teams, Robert Kraft, Arthur Blank. With Robert Kraft, I don't see nearly as much that's interesting as I do with Arthur Blank 
which we'll just get to. Let's begin with Robert Kraft, who's born on June 5th, 1941. June 5th, interesting date, 156th day of the year. In history, Robert Kennedy was shot on this date by Sirhan Sirhan. Robert Kennedy equals 156. So does false flag. If you write out the word 33, it sums to 156. The name Robert's 33. The name Kennedy, 33. Sirhan, 33. False flag is also 33. 33 is a big number on this Super Bowl. Tom Brady sitting at 33 playoff appearances. He's 24 and 9 in the playoffs. A win would make him 25 and 9. It would be the AFC's 25th Super Bowl win, and it would come to conclude the 97th season of the NFL. 97 is the 25th prime number. Tom Brady's 25th win, the fir- the 25th AFC Super Bowl win potentially. So that's a possible scenario. The name Bill Belichick, the coach of the Patriots, also equals 97. And this is the 97th season of the NFL. We're about to talk about Arthur Blank, though, who has 97 birth numerology plus a whole lot more. So anyhow, Robert Kraft, interesting birthday, date with numerology of 71, important number to the Catholic Church. We're going to talk about how Arthur Blank is born on the Jesuit order's birthday, which is the Masonic order within the Catholic Church. Matt Ryan, his QB for the Falcons, played at Boston College, the Jesuit school, not far from the Patriots. It's also a date with 52 numerology. I meant to write 52 here, not 5-2. That was a typo. But anyway, Brady and Belichick have a chance to become 5-2 and two in Super Bowls. When the Patriots won Super Bowl 49, their last Super Bowl, that was over the Seahawks. Dan Quinn was an assistant with the Seahawks. Then he went to coach the Falcons. Seahawks, Falcons, Eagles, three birds that now the Patriots have faced in Super Bowls. Be interesting if they beat a third bird, especially with Dan Quinn coming over from the Seahawks, who they last defeated. Dan Quinn's birthday is September 11th, which was the first Sunday of this NFL season. So from his birthday to the Super Bowl, nothing pops out at me right now about his day so much. Well, the 120 days after and the 121 days, they're interesting. I'll talk more about it if the Patriots win the Super Bowl. But for now, I want to talk about Arthur Blank, who's born September 27, 1942, the same day as the Jesuit order's birthday. Matt Ryan went to a Jesuit school. Tom Brady went to a Jesuit high school. As I've been saying, the majority of professional athletes, if you look at where they went to school, they went to Jesuit high schools. Had to look up to make sure the mic was on. So many times I record videos and I don't realize till like 10 minutes in that I forgot to turn the mic on. But anyway, Jesuit schools. The Jesuit colors are red and black. I mean, the Atlanta Falcons. Look at this shout out, Arthur, Arthur Blank. And the red, black, and white. Jesuit order's birthday. Look at this. His date of birth, date with 97 numerology. We're in the 97th season of the NFL. He's also a date with a life lesson number of 52. Brady and Belichick could potentially go 5-2 and two in Super Bowls by beating the Falcons. It's a date with 34 numerology. Falcons equals 34. What's interesting is the number 139 is the 34th prime number. 139 is the 34th prime number, and Atlanta Falcons using the alphabetic order is 139. Falcons also has Gematria of 25, and the Super Bowl's on 2 slash 5. 36 birth numerology as well. IHS in his service, Jesuit order motto. The fact that he's born on the 27th is interesting, and that's the Jesuit order's birthday. If the Falcons won the Super Bowl, it would be the 27th NFC Super Bowl win. So either the AFC's getting number 25, or the NFC's getting number 27. Again, 97's the 25th prime number. The Super Bowl's on 2-5. From his, from his birthday, his 74th birthday... And let's talk about him being 74. This is Super Bowl 51. The Falcons are in their 51st NFL season. Falcon, the singular, using the alphabetic order, sums to 51. It'll be the Patriots' 51st playoff game as a franchise in Super Bowl 51. Couldn't be more fitting. 
But him being 74, the reflection of that number is 47, and Super Bowl 51 is the 47th Super Bowl of the modern era. Home Depot equals 47, which Arthur Blank owns. This is the Home Depot owner. This is the Kraft Foods conglomerate owner. The first Super Bowl season was in the 47th season of the NFL. First Super Bowl, Super Bowl won the 47th season of the NFL. Remember Super Bowl 47 was the 49ers and the Ravens and it had the 33-minute blackout? Do you remember that? Go back and check it out. It was interesting. So anyway, from his birthday to the Super Bowl, his 74th is 131 days. 131 is our Super Bowl number. Super Bowl 131, championship 131. When you write out 57, 131, this is the Patriots' 57th season. We saw Prince die at age 57. I said the day of, how his death might very well be connected to the Super Bowl. The last city he performed in was in Atlanta. Talk more about Prince in a moment. The name Arthur Blank also has Gematria 45. Seen a lot of that with Trump. Trump's a Jesuit, the 45th president. Robert Kraft equals 53, which is the 16th prime number. The last time the Falcons and Patriots played, it was a sum of 53 points. Now they meet in the Super Bowl to close out the 2016 season. Notice Atlanta Falcons has Gematria 40, just like Dan Quinn, the coach's name. Also like the last name Blank. Arthur Blank, owner of the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta Falcons also 139, the 34th prime. And you know what's awesome? The Gematronator.com calculator, which I'll link in the description. Today, new improvement. When you click on a number, you can do that now on the site, new improvement today. It gives you the prime number relationships and a whole lot more. It's brilliant. Gematronator just became the most valuable Gematria tool anywhere in existence. It was already that. Now it's just even infinitely better. Just want to remind, Houston also has the Gematria 40. 31 and 112. Remember Matt Ryan, the small ways, 31. The big way, 112. At the beginning of the season, I said there's only two QBs that have 112 named Gematria. Andrew Luck and Matt Ryan. So there is some interesting alignment with the Falcons. It was May 24th this year, May 24th, 2016 that the Atlanta Falcons learned they would be hosting Super Bowl... Oh, shoot. I forget. Are they hosting Super Bowl 53 or 54? But whatever. It's one of those Super Bowls that they're hosting. That was May 24th that they found out, which was exactly 127 days before Arthur Blank's birthday. And I noticed 127 is the 31st prime number. Again, Matt Ryan, 31 years old. Matt Ryan, 31. Houston, 31. Matt Ryan... Saying he's going to be the MVP this year. So there's that. Now here's an interesting story out of Atlanta. Remember, Atlanta Falcons, Jesuit connections, Arthur Blank, the owner, has the Jesuit order's birthday. Here's a story from Supreme Court justices in Georgia doing Rise Up. Notice how they emphasize Rise Up in these headlines for the Falcons. Look at this. Judge equals 47, gavel 47, authority 47, the word obeys 47, the word foundations 47, the word frameworks 47. All throughout this nation, your government positions, your courthouses, your police departments, it is run by Freemasonry. If you take this knowledge to your courthouse and start decoding the judges' names on the walls, you're going to be blown away by how many of their names sum to 47. And this is not by coincidence. We live in a nation run by a Freemasonic gang. People are born and bred to be. It's about who you know, not what you know. So true in our justice system. And I have no doubt that these judges participating in this, you know, they go down to the local lodge. Probably almost all of their names sum to 47. The Freemasons have something called Euclid's 47th problem about how to establish foundation for a building. They're builders, the Freemasons. Foundation 47, Framework 47, so many things 47. Think about the birthday of this Masonic nation, July 4th, the fourth day of the seventh month. Think about Abraham Lincoln four score and seven years ago. There's a reason he says it that way instead of 87 years ago, which is what it is. 
With regards to judges in 87, the word justice is 87. Four score and seven years ago. Four score means four times 20. So anyhow, they are doing this rise up thing. And rise up equals 88, just like Trump. With regards to Tom Brady, who has the major Trump connections, there's been a lot of patriots in Donald Trump. Tom Brady's born August 3rd, 77, a date with 88 numerology. I pointed out January 19th, all Donald Trump could talk about in his speech before Inauguration Day were the patriots. I thought, wow, he's about to become president, and the most important things he has to share with the nation are how great the patriots are. And that his daughter married into the right Jewish family, which he kept mentioning. And then he tried to tell some jokes that weren't funny. I thought, why is he talking so much about the Patriots? So Atlanta, it's on the 33rd parallel, the 84th meridian. The word Jesuit equals 84. Right now, the Catholic Church has the first Jesuit Pope, born December 17th, 1936. A date with 84 numerology. Jesuit 84, Atlanta on the 84th meridian, 33rd parallel. The Patriots this year, I'm thinking about how they began their season against the Arizona Cardinals. And I said from day one, everything I decoded on that game, I said, oh my God, the Patriots might be going to the Super Bowl again. Said at week one, once I did the first decode, and I showed everybody why the Patriots were going to win that game in Arizona, despite being 10 and a half point underdogs you don't see the Patriots down that much I said this is all part of a narrative the Patriots are going to win this game it's all about Jimmy Garoppolo and September 11th when you write out September 11th it sums to 77 when you write out Jimmy Garoppolo it sums to 77 and you know that just put a seed in my mind you know sometimes this study you look at all this information it can cloud your judgment because it's just so much that you're looking at but remember when you write out September 11th it sums to 77 when you write out Jimmy Garoppolo it sums to 77 on September 11th, Flight 77 supposedly hit the 77-foot-tall Pentagon on the 77th Meridian exactly 77 minutes after taking off. And it's amazing how many people I share that with, and they just go, so what? <laughs> well, if you have a brain, you, you, there should be an answer to so what. If you don't have a brain, you'll probably just say, yeah, so what? The word power equals 77, theater 77, special number. If the Patriots lose to the Falcons, those two teams will be 7-7 seven and seven all time against each other. Washington, D.C., Trump on the 77th Meridian. Power, White House, federal government. Notice also Phoenix, Cardinals, the Cardinal and the Catholic Church, you know? Phoenix and Atlanta are the only two NFL cities that are on the 33rd parallel. The 112th Meridian is interesting for Phoenix, and I pointed this out week one. This is why I said, oh boy, we could see the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Houston 112, Matt Ryan 112. It was all foretold. And if you go back and watch all the videos I put out and just go back and take notes, you'll be like, man, he had it all. He didn't just quite put it together. You should have saw it. That's the way I feel looking at it, just having all the pieces I had. I should have seen I knew, I knew about the World Series. It was the 112th World Series that just passed. And I was saying before the World Series was played, the Super Bowl in Houston, I said, watch, all this stuff's tied together in 2016. I never caught that the Atlanta Braves are originally from Boston. They went from Boston to Wisconsin to Atlanta. Atlanta beats the team from Wisconsin in the NFC Championship. Can they beat the team from Boston in the Super Bowl? We'll see. We'll see. That 97 Bill Belichick, 97 season, 97 the 25th prime, all of that, AFC 25th Super Bowl, Tom Brady's 25th win. It's just hard to overlook that. But maybe it's too perfect. I've said that before. Sometimes when things are too perfect, pick the opposite. <laughs> pick the opposite when it's too perfect. I've, I've said that before. And, and you know what? You know why? <laughs> I just have to say it right here. The reason why we might be getting so frustrated by putting all of this together and then things not quite finishing how we see them, again, they might do all of this on purpose so that they can go with either narrative, you know? If too much money gets bet on the Falcons, well, then the Patriots are your Super Bowl. They, they could make it all by financials. Whatever the lesser payout is, that's who's winning the game. 
It's amazing how tightly it's all scripted, but there's no doubt it's all scripted. Matt Ryan went to Boston College, the Atlanta Braves from Boston, Atlanta versus Boston Super Bowl, New England's Boston pretty much. So here's another one. What the flock? This is from the Daily Mail, which just makes up news. But often the news they make up is what shows you what the Super Bowl will be ahead. It's like last October 2015, the story about the dead person on the freeway sign on Colorado Street. I showed how that whole story was coded for the Super Bowl and the Broncos to win it. Ridiculous made-up story. Propaganda. The Daily Mail covered it. Here's some more Daily Mail propaganda. They say a scene just happened with blackbirds in Houston. The story's from January 25th, 2017, two days ago. They say it reminds them of Alfred Hitchcock's 1963 horror film. So look at this. What the flock in Gematria sums 251, right? Here we are, Super Bowl 51. The blackbirds, the falcons, you know, are going to Houston. Atlanta Falcons in their 51st season. It'll be the Patriots' 51st playoff game. The word Falcon 51. Blackbird, the singular, sums to 35 like the word Cardinal. The Patriots' season began against the Cardinals. It's going to end against the Atlanta Falcons with the owner, Arthur Blank, the Jesuit Order's birthday, the Masonic Order again within the Catholic Church. What the Flock also sums to 132 just like Catholic Church. Flock, religion, sheep, you know, (laughs) what the flock, people who can't see that football's rigged, people that can't wait for the Super Bowl to watch the next scripted performance and all the garbage commercials they celebrate, what the flock is right. So anyway, they bring up Hitchcock, his 1963 film, The Birds. Hitchcock made 44 films with sound, 44 The kill number. Hitchcock equals 44. Georgia 44. Wisconsin 44. The Super Bowl's on February 5th, 2017. 2 plus 5 plus 20 plus 17 is 44. The reason I said more than a year ago that the Falcons and Packers were my top two teams to be there. For the Packers, Lindy and Fonte died last season before a Thursday night football game in Houston Lindy Infante, L.I., this is Super Bowl L.I. He coached the Packers and the Colts. The Colts have Andrew Luck as their quarterback, who played his high school ball in Houston. Andrew Luck equals 112, just like Matt Ryan. They're the only two QBs that do. The Indianapolis Colts also played in Houston this year, 112 days before the Super Bowl, tribute during the season. So anyway, Hitchcock 44, Georgia 44, Wisconsin 44. Again, Hitchcock 44 films with sound. The date of this story was a date with 63 numerology. And again, they compared this to his 1963 film. By the way, this word eerie up here that they start with, eerie, 33, major 33 on this Super Bowl as we've been talking about. So anyway, date was 63 numerology, tribute to the 63 film, Georgia Dome equals 63, the Falcons just won their last game in the Georgia Dome, a week earlier in Atlanta, a week earlier in Atlanta, January 15th, the pastor Eddie Long dead at 63 on Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday, Martin Luther King from Atlanta, the new Falcons stadium opening next year at 441 Malcolm or not Malcolm, Martin Luther King Jr. Drive Boulevard. Remember, 144 is the number coded all over Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination. The address is 441. Anyway, when you count every number 1 through 63, it sums to 2016. 2016, significant number. This is the Super Bowl to close out the 2016 season. It's also a date with 43 numerology. The word champion equals 43. Somebody just messaged me that they did the Madden simulation for this Super Bowl and the Falcons beat the Patriots. Earlier this year in August, the Madden simulation said the Falcons would beat the Steelers. They said the Falcons were going to win the Super Bowl. Anyway, they told me that the score was 23 to 20, but I can't verify it anywhere. 
If it is 23 to 20, remember this about 43. The number 191 is the 43rd prime number. Society of Jesus equals 191, which is the official name for the Jesuit order. This past year, Villanova won the college championship 191 days after the Jesuit order's birthday when Pope Francis left Philadelphia on the Jesuit order's birthday. Villanova, a Catholic Jesuit school just outside of Philadelphia. They scored 43 points in the first half and 34 in the second half, if I remember right. The final score was 74 to 77. Jesus equals 74. Christ 77. Society of Jesus. So anyhow, Eddie Long dead at 63 the week before the big win. Final game in the Georgia Dome. Now this tribute to 63 with this bizarre story about a swarm of birds going through Houston. This stuff, I happen to live in this weird area, Bothell, Washington. And one of the strangest things I noticed about this place when I first moved here is it's like on some coordinate that the birds just know to take naturally when they do the, the migration part of the year. And even throughout the year, I mean, you just see a lot of birds around here. This is some, there's some reason the birds fly through here. I just see packs of birds like I've never seen anywhere else in my life living right here. And, and I've lived in this region my whole life. It's just something about the birds fly through here. And I don't know. I, I've, I've never spent much time in Houston. Been there for... was in Houston for two days when I was in college. Quick trip. You know, didn't get to see much of it, but I don't know. This story, at this day and age, this could even be a Photoshop. Did, did, this, did this even really happen on January 25th? You know what I mean? Or did they just make this up as a tribute? But these are supposed to be the photos... So what the flock is right. Here's something else. I, I actually mentioned this earlier in the year. I'm glad this person brought this back up. Somebody said, oh, Matt Ryan's 112, Houston's 112, Atlanta's in the Super Bowl. What about the hip-hop R&B group 112? <laughs> That's right, 112, you know, just one more 112 for Atlanta. And then this guy just made me refocus again on what I showed in yesterday's video. Yesterday, Google Doodle had the tribute to Bessie Coleman, the first black woman pilot in the United States, supposedly. So we're told. You, you just never know in these history books. But what stood out is that she was from Atlanta, Texas. Atlanta, Texas. You know? Atlanta going to the Super Bowl, a tribute to a woman from Atlanta, Texas. Look at this. Atlanta, Texas. Texas, this is, these are its coordinates. The 33rd parallel, the 94th meridian. Atlanta, Georgia, the 33rd parallel, the 84th meridian. When you write out 94 as words, 94 is a word. The small way it sums to 57, the big way 147, just like World Series. And again, 112th World Series, the World Series paralleled in a tribute to this year's Super Bowl. And we'll talk more about that in a second. But isn't it interesting? Both on the 33rd parallel. Atlantis, which Atlanta's named after, has Gematria of 33, just like ATL has Gematria of 33. Again, the Patriots began their season on the 33rd parallel against a different bird, the Phoenix Cardinals. And think about a phoenix, a bird. The Greek mythology about the phoenix coming out of the ashes. You know, Greek mythology, Atlantis. There's a bigger riddle here. 112. The other thing I've been pointing out about that number is it's the alt dialing code for 911. 112 is the alt dialing code for 911 in the United States. If you punch 112 in your phone, you're going to be connected to 911. Worldwide, 112 is used in the majority of countries as the emergency dialing code. The season, the first Sunday, was on 911 this year. You know, ends on 911 or begins on 911. Ends in Houston, 112 land. Patriots, first game of the season on 9 11 on the 112th Meridian. So check this out. When you write out 51, it has a Gematria 46, just like when you write out Phoenix, just like when you write out Houston, Texas, just like when you write out Patriots. And. Again, a reminder, Tom Brady was drafted in 2000. He was the 199th overall pick by New England. 
199 is the 46th prime, and he played at Michigan, which equals 46. Isn't that a trip? It's a whole lot of 46. With regards to him being the 199th overall pick, New England alone, just New England, sums to 99. And when was the last time the Falcons were in the Super Bowl? 99. So coming back to Bessie Coleman, the woman who was born in Atlanta, Texas, the first black woman to fly. And, and if these, you know, the people who who do all this, they're, they're sick, they're racist. I'm just thinking about it more now. A black woman flying a Falcon, you know, the Atlanta Falcons, a predominantly black city. There's a reason this is the Google Doodle right now. They're trying to tell us something. 9-11 planes. This Bessie Coleman, her date of birth, January 26th, 1892. 1 plus 26 is 27, plus 92 is 119. 119, like all seeing eye, like Star of David, like master plan. 9 11, 11 slash 9, first Sunday. So her death, she died April 30th at the age of 34. April 30th, 4 plus 30, 34. She died at the age of 34, three months and four days after her birthday. Falcons equals 34. It's going to be Tom Brady's 34th playoff game. It's that number 94 again. I just talked about how that connects to World Series. This is the death of Bessie Coleman. Dead young, the first woman to fly. Dead at age 34, three months and four days after her birthday. So anyhow, now is a transition. Earlier this year when Prince died, I predicted Prince's death in February. The day he died, I said how his death was likely connected to the Super Bowl because he died on the 112th day of the year. He died April 21st, 2016, which was a leap year, the 112th day of the year, and he died at age 57. When you write out 57, it sums to 131, the Super Bowl number. He died on the Queen of England's birthday. England equals 57. He was dead at 57. Prince, Queen, Royal Family. Look at this. Fentanyl. What they said his cause of death was sums to 34. So does the word murder. Fentanyl also sums to 97. This is the 97th season of the NFL. The 97th season. 97, the 25th prime. Again, Bill Belichick, 97. Prince, the last concert he performed in was in Atlanta, Arthur Blank, owner, 97 birth numerology. You know? The day Prince died was a date with 41 numerology. The word Super Bowl also has gematria 41. Here's the Patriots. Their 57th season, their next playoff game will be their 51st all time. If they win, they'll have 32 wins. NFL equals 32. America, 32. If they lose, they'll be stuck at 31. Houston, 31. Matt Ryan, 31. 31 year olds, old Matt Ryan. If the Patriots won, they'd have five Super Bowls, one in 10 appearances. Five in 10, 5 1, 51st playoff game. I guess if they lost, they'd have 4-10. and 10. You could see a 10-4 in there, message received. What would be the message received? What would be the symbolism, knowing that this is all symbolic, of the, the Falcon, the Phoenix rising out of the ashes, defeating the Patriots, you know? What would be the symbolism there? New England, England, Prince dead on the Queen of England's birthday on the 112th day of the year. Again, at the age of 57. Just want to point out this woman, Bessie. Bessie Coleman, born in Atlanta, Texas. Gematria 59. Number of the year, 59, the 17th prime. Number stamped on black people throughout history. Here's Prince's last concert. He closed out with Purple Rain. Remember, Purple Rain equals 58, like Freemasonry, like Secret Society. Next year, Jim Irsay, the owner of the Colts, is going to be 58 years old, and he bought Prince's 
guitar on the anniversary of Purple Rain. Purple Rain, 58. Prince died in Minnesota. Vikings hosting the Super Bowl next year. Something going on, true seeker. So again, the numbers that matter. World Series equals 57. It was the 112th World Series. Prince dead at age 57 on the 112th day of the year. You know where Prince had to do that emergency landing on the way back from Atlanta? The story was that he had to do an emergency landing in Molina, Illinois. The team from Illinois, the Cubs, would win the World Series. The 112th World Series, which I predicted in spring training even before Prince died. Think about it. That town he landed in in Illinois, Molina, their date of establishment, I showed this about it, you know, right after his death, their date of establishment is April 21st, the same day he died in history. This, this, the city where he had to do this emergency landing coming back from Atlanta, Prince. I also showed how April 21st, the day of his death, is typically the 111th day of the year, and the NBA Finals equals 111. It was, April, it was the first game of the NBA Finals where they released the cause of death for Prince as fentanyl. You know, the beginning of that championship, a little secret code in the numbers for where they were going with the Super Bowl in the 97th season. All part of an ongoing narrative. Remember Prince, he went to the Warriors Thunder game not long before his death, showed how that was all part of the finals ritual. He did, he was in Oracle Arena where game 7 was played and a uh, corresponding amount of days after. Go back, I got all the videos on it. Prince was tied to all the sports championships this year, just as I said he would be. I said that the day of his death. I said this is how it works in this world. Rituals by the numbers. The date of his Atlanta concert was a date with 34 numerology. Falcons 34. Very interesting. Again, Prince dead on the Queen's birthday. A difference of 33 years. She was 90. He was 57. Again, Matt Ryan had his jersey retired this year with Boston College on July 5th. A date you can write 5 slash 7, like another 57. Now here he is in the Super Bowl. Connected to the World Series, the baseball teams, Boston, Atlanta, and Wisconsin, all history. Madden predicted the Falcons to win the Super Bowl in August. <laughs> Madden, nine out of the last 13 seasons, has predict, pre correctly predicted the Super Bowl winner. Nine out of the last 13 seasons and people don't wake up. I mean, how scripted can it be? They're even telling you with the video game. Here's something else I noticed. Number 33 for the Patriots has been a ritual machine all season. I wanted to see what his birthday was, and lo and behold, it's the Jesuit Order's birthday too, September 27th. I thought, oh, that's interesting. So he also has that connection to Super Bowl. Number 33 himself. Dion Lewis. His name in Gematria sums to 47. Again, this will be the 47th Super Bowl of the modern era. First Super Bowl in the 47th season of the NFL. Oh, and this man, Douglas Jones, he, he gave me the heads up on the score of the Madden simulation. He said it was 23 to 20, some of 43 points. We talked about that. I can't find confirmation that that's true. If that's true, you know, I, I would give that as some weight to the Falcons possibly. But he caught this too, January 13th. Friday the 13th, the release of the film Patriot's Day. That film, I showed how it was synced up perfectly with the Super Bowl. Came out on a date with 51 numerology, Super Bowl 51. Patriot's Day, it's about the bombing hoax in Boston, April 15th, 2013. There's also a date with 31 numerology, Houston 31. Boston in Gematria, with the S exceptions, also 31. Boston's 31 as well. So look at this. The day of Patriots Day, the Boston Celtics played the Atlanta Falcons. The day this movie came out, Patriots Day, the Celtics played the Falcons 103-101. to 101. 
you know, New England Patriots through the Celtics, Atlanta Falcons through the Atlanta Hawks. Celtics win. Now, we saw something like this recently. We saw the New York Knicks play the Milwaukee Bucks just before the NFC wildcard game. And the Knicks won. But then the football game went opposite. The Wisconsin team beat the New York team. So I'm going to remember this either way. I'm just documenting. But look, this game, January 13th, what it made me think about is, okay, there's definitely a ritual at play here. Think about the Boston Marathon bombing. Can you remember an Atlanta bombing? The 96 Olympics, right? So two cities that have endured these terrorist bombings. Are they, are they the worst terrorist bombings outside of the World Trade Center 93 and September 11th? I, I think they are. So they have a relationship in history through terrorism. And, you know, I don't think they'd ever do anything to the Super Bowl. I think if they had a di- something planned for the Super Bowl, it might happen in a different city on the same day. But I've been saying there's a, there's a lot of predictive programming for them to do something during a big football game. And the movie Oblivion, Oblivion equals 44, in that film, they say that this Super Bowl will be the last one ever played. This year's is on a date with 44 numerology. I wanted to go back and look at the last time the Falcons and Patriots played each other more carefully. It was September 29, 2013. 9 plus 29 plus 13 is 51. The score of the game was 30-23, to a sum of 53 points. 53 is the 16th prime. This is the championship to close out the 2016 NFL season. This is also a date with 71 numerology. Our Catholic number, Arthur Blank, Jesuit birthday, Matt Ryan, Jesuit school, Robert Kraft, 71 birth numerology. So anyway, this game was in 2013 after, the last time they played was just after the Boston Marathon bombing, right? Because that was April 15th, 2013. That was exactly 167 days when the Falcons and Patriots last played, 167 days after the Boston Marathon bombing. 167 pops out right away because that's the 39th prime number, the huge number on this Super Bowl. Brady's 39 years old right now. Last year, Manning rode, rode off into the sunset at age 39. Keon Carpenter, the former Falcon, just died at 39, synced up with the Super Bowl, which I showed. NRG Stadium is who's hosting the Super Bowl. NRG, 14 plus 18 plus 7, 39. Construction began on March 9th for that stadium, 3 slash 9 or 9 slash 3. 39, 93, reflections of each other. LI, this Super Bowl, L is the 12th letter, breaks down to 3, 1 plus 2, 3. I9, LI, 3, 9. Look at this. The date that they last played on was September 29th. September 29th, that's the day that leaves 93 days left in the year, right? 93 days left. Boston Marathon bombing 93, Propaganda 93, Saturn 93. In the early part of this season, I kept saying the Patriots are getting a lot of Saturn 93 rituals right now. Go back and watch my videos how I expose these things. I said... I'm getting more and more afraid they're going to be in the Super Bowl. <laughs> well, here we are. They're in the Super Bowl. And look, this is, this is how it is. It's just been all scripted all along, all this time. 9-29 also, September 29th. Reminds me of United States of America and Jewish Gematria. Kevin Durant has a September 29th birthday. He was the big news on July 4th. Remember, he went to the Warriors that day by the numbers. 88 days from his birthday. So anyhow, just wanted to give you a lot more information. As always, keep you up on what I know, what I'm seeing. The more I look at, honestly, the more of a narrative I see for the Falcons to win. And and I hate the word believe, but believe me, that's who I want to see win. I don't have any money on this game. And... You know, what what I advocate for is spreading knowledge and not gambling. It's not all about money, you know. 
got to get on to other things. Money is a control mechanism from the gang that gives us all of these distractions in life. Pro sports, movies, TV shows, fake news. These are their tools. I'm putting out the knowledge so people can see through the lies and overcome. That's my game plan. So we'll wrap it up here, Truth Seeker. Until next time.